Hi, I'm Ken Thompson and this is a very short video introduction to my book A Systematic Guide to Business Acumen and Leadership Using Dilemmas. I've been working in business for over 35 years and in that time I've worked inside over a hundred organizations either as an employee or a consultant and these have been organizations of all types and all sizes and one of the things that I discovered in working in these organizations is that the same problems seem to crop up over and over again. And I have discovered that there seem to be about 10 different dilemmas that apply no matter what business you're in, if you're in a management position. Now, what do I mean by a dilemma, first of all? Uh, first of all, a dilemma is a choice between two goods. It's a trade-off, but the thing that defines it as a dilemma is there's no no regrets option. There's always some pain in a dilemma. You want to do A and you want to do B, but you haven't got the resources to do both. Now the other thing I've discovered about dilemmas is certain people in organizations are really good at resolving dilemmas and these tend to be the top performers so mere mortals tend to see a dilemma as a problem whereas a top performer often sees a dilemma as a huge opportunity now on the screen i've got these 10 dilemmas as i see them the top five i call business dilemmas which means they're primarily about the challenge of running the business the bottom five are called leadership dilemmas and they're more about the challenge of being in a leadership team that is running the business. So let's quickly look at each in turn and uh, this is developed in a lot more detail in, in the book. The first dilemma is the customer dilemma and there's different types of customers you have to deal with. For example in a retail business you'll have your loyals who are, are very, very profitable and very, very loyal to you. And then you have your regulars and then you have your occasionals. And at some times you will have to focus on your loyals, but other times you may have to focus on your occasionals. For example, if you want to build market share. And it's always difficult to know which are the right group of customers to be focusing on at any point in time. The second dilemma is to do with product. You'll have new products, you'll have products that, which are at their absolute peak and products that are on the decline. Now all of these products have a role in your organization and you need to be able to manage each of them differently. And at certain points of time, certain products will become extremely crucial for your business. The third dilemma is price. If you put your price up, then your demand goes down. Um, so there's a whole dilemma around price. If you put price up too much, you will fall off the demand cliff and damage your business. If you don't push your price enough, then you're leaving money on the table and you're not exploiting the power of your business and your brand. Um, the fourth dilemma I call the mixed dilemma. There's all sorts of mixes involved in a business. For example, the right mix of products, or the right mix of customers, or the right mix of currencies, or the right mix of partners. All these mixed dilemmas are a real challenge to an organization. Finally, the fifth dilemma I call the supply and demand dilemma. You really have to balance these. For example, you don't want too much supply uh, because that will exceed your demand and you'll have extra costs. If you have too little supply, then you can't meet your customer demand and that will damage your loyalty. And you, in all of these dilemmas, you're looking for the optimum position which will constantly change. So those are the five business dilemmas. Then if we look at the five leadership dilemmas, one of them I believe is the planning dilemma, which is how much planning should we do? And how do we know when we're in danger of doing too much planning and planning becomes an act in itself. There's the results dilemma, which is really, what are the results that I should be staring off at the minute? In classic balanced scorecard theory, 
you will have your lagging indicators which everybody's fixated on tend to be financial but tend to be very poor as an early warning or else you have your leading indicators which tell you how things are going but do not uh, value the business in the way that your stakeholders and shareholders would do and that's why you need a balanced approach and at any point in time you really need to decide which of the key indicators sh should I be looking at now there's the organizational health dilemma and this is a classic one uh, do we focus on today's business and bringing in profit now or do we focus on getting the business in good shape to bring in profit in a couple of years time if you neglect the organizational health dilemma if you ex neglect the organizational health you will end up burning out your business hitting results until suddenly you're not but if you put too much into organizational health you will miss your operational targets and you may well no longer be in a job long term agility dilemma is all about change change is constant and the agility is defined as being able to address unexpected change well and finally we have the team dilemma and this is can be a painful one when you're part of a leadership team and you have to go along with decisions that you don't necessarily agree with but you have to show collective responsibility so these are the 10 dilemmas i believe you will meet in any business i'm not saying these are the only kind of dilemmas you'll meet and the book a systematic guide to business acumen and leadership using dilemmas explores each of these dilemmas in a lot more detail and also i'm going to give you a link to a really nice little inf infographic which summarizes the 10 dilemmas thank you